Hi, Dr. Romano. Do you think you could show me an exotic problem? These chemistry problems are really boring me. I'm gonna show you something real exotic. Come around here and we'll show something so exotic that you're not gonna believe it. What I wanna do is I'm gonna give you a platonic solid. This is known as cubane. And you thought cyclopropane was strained. Look at this little fella. This is extremely strained molecule. Now, what I wanna do here is I'm gonna ask you, is this bicyclic, tricyclic, is it tetracyclic, penta, or hexacyclic? What do you think, Miss Alexandra? Dr. Mono, don't insult my intelligence. I think it's hexacyclic. It has six sides. All right, so six sides. Um, that sounds like a good, a good answer. Why don't we just do a little test to see if you're right? Um, what I'm going to do on my little test, let me just show you what I'll do for the little test. If I gave you this and I said, what would this be? You would say bicyclic. And the way you would test for it is you make cuts to open it up to the acyclic form. So how many cuts would it take to open this up? There's one cut and therefore this would be two cuts and it's now open. So that would be bicyclic. So this is bicyclic. What if I gave you this? Miss Alexandra, what would you think something like this would be? Tricyclic? You are so smart. Let's do our little test though. One cut, two cuts, and we need one more and would be three cuts. So you are correct once one more time. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing to our little cube. Now, you be my counter. I gotta make the number of cuts and the number of cuts will tell me the size of the ring. All right, this is a good cut. There's one. Am I done or should I keep going? Ah, uh, you should keep going. All right, so there's one cut. And now I do another cut. There's two cuts. And then I'm gonna, I need more. There's three cuts. There's my third cut. There's my fourth cut. Still not opened. Uh-oh. Has it opened up, Miss Alexandra? Yes. There's five cuts. If there's five cuts, what kind of ring was that? Pentacyclic. It is pentacyclic. That is a nasty, hard question. So Cubane is pentacyclic. Let's go for our next question. I ask you, how many moles of gas do you think would be produced? Now, the question is, what the hell is this? Well, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight nitro groups. So this is octa, nitro, cubane. And if you don't know, you know it now, this is one of the most explosive chemicals on planet Earth. Um, it's so explosive that it's going to give it gas. It's going to give a lot of gases. And those gases can reach over 10,000 meters per second. That's a fast gas molecule. So the question is, how many moles of gas is produced? Well, what's the gimmick? The gimmick is, if you counted all the carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and that gave me a C8. There are nine, I'm sorry, there are eight nitrogens and there are oxygens that are 16. So what we're gonna do is we are going to detonate this. Now the two gases produced, if we use our heads, we have nitrogen gas to be produced. That's a very stable gas, nitrogen gas, and CO2 gas can be produced from this because the carbons have to go to something and the carbons need oxygen to combine with. If you just released NO2 gas, you would be left with a bunch of carbons. But if we compromise and we let the nitrogen gas leave and the carbons can combine with the oxygens, we will get the two gases. There's eight carbons here. So I'm gonna put an eight in front of here. There is an eight nitrogens and we have two and that's four. So we're gonna get four moles of nitrogens and eight moles of CO2 gives me a total of 12 moles of gas. 
and those gases being nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Hope that helped and gave you a fun question. You wanted to see exotic? Doesn't get any more exotic than that. That is a pretty question, and I might be putting that question or something related to this in the 2019 Dot Destroyer book. I'm always thinking up new questions, and we want to be able to get that 30 on the dot. All right, good luck. I will see you. Study hard.